Uh, today we are here uh, with uh, several members of the jury of the Olymp International Olympia Film Festival. Uh, they are here to eat, but we don't care, we are Zizania, so we have to take an interview. So, I have a, co a, a question for all of you. Uh, which are the criteria you consider uh, well judging films? Like, um, which are the criteria? Like, you think more of the plot, of uh, the, uh, the uh, art, the photography? Which are the criteria? Criteria? Yeah. No, you answer first. <laughs> The criteria to 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 you judge the film. The judge. Uh, we are not not here to judge, to to give our point of view yeah. and um, to um, to have um, to appreciate the films because I think it's a good uh, selection. Uh, it's my second uh, year here, and um, I remember the selection for last year is very interesting. I have the same. Uh, for the, this year, we have saw the first film, Mongolian film. We like it very much. I like it very much. Just like it, like it. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah, just like it. Uh, I hope that I like the other one. Yeah, I I, I will hope that I like the other one. Uh, this is my mission to like films. Uh, judge, maybe uh, he can tell us what's. <laughs> <laughs> must do to judge a film. Uh, in terms of looking at a film in a, a festival context, for me the key word is impact. You know, as I'm watching a film, does it impact me in any way? So that might be content, it might be how the film looks, it might be the sound. Um, but am I, at the end of the film, am I remembering something? Has it touched me in some particular way? And the lovely thing about a festival and a festival of short films that we're looking at is the variety. There's such a, a, a range of films. It can be very hard to judge one against the other, but I'm looking for the one film that I really think stands out and leaves an impact on me. Okay, thank you. So, interesting question. Thank you for your question. It's a tough question. So now, um, for me important is how is this uh, story, but I'm, I'm with you with the impact. It's very, very important to have an impact on me, this film. But we have, we are also here for, um, as, as a, you can say, as a law for children and, and kids and uh, youth people to so what is their perspective? Is there a good film for them? And so we are looking at this point. Oh yeah, I am looking at this point. <laughs> for me it's also very important that uh, the film is made for, for children or youth. Yeah? That it's, it's for the audience uh, it is pointed to. Mm -hmm. And from the perspective of this audience it is pointed to. And uh, that it's a story that interests them, but it's not uh, the story of, of, I don't know, the separation of the parents and seen from the view of the parents, that's not interesting. Uh, but uh, what does it make with the child, for instance, that's interesting. And more interesting, I think, is how this story is told. Is it told in a filmic way? Is it a film? Yeah, and I don't, not only a theatre filmed off or something like that. Yeah? So uh, I'm really looking at this, uh, uh, for instance, which filmic devices are there and do they have to do something with the content? I think this is very important. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I, I have to agree with my colleagues here that I also. Um, pay attention to how the film speaks to the young audience, uh, to children and young people, what it has to say to them and what the, uh, if, if it's the theme uh, that speaks uh, that speaks to them and, and which interests uh, children and young people. And that's very, very, very important thing. And also, uh, I agree with the impact, that it also has, to, has some kind of uh, impact on me as well as a, as a spectator. Uh, so it's a film that has a cap 
capacity to have this dialogue with, with the spectator. I think that's the important thing. And also uh, how original it is, how original the idea and execution is, is that's yeah, crucial course. as well. Thank you. So let's go to Mr. Anais again. Please. So last year you participated with your film Second Life and now you are here as a, as a jury member. So how do you feel changing uh, the role? Like you were being a participant, a, a contestant, and now you are the judge. Um, um, I have a film in competition, uh, it's a pleasure because uh, you show, no, yeah, last year. It's a pleasure for me to, to show my film. Um, with other films because I have see, I have tried to see all the film in competition and I appreciate uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, many films uh, last year this year I'm a part of a jury the same thing I would like just to appreciate uh, a film I would like to see good cinema uh, good character good um, to discover um, other way to, to do a film uh, uh, other colleague uh, and uh, uh, um, I feel good too because I have uh, no pressure, you know, just uh, to 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 to, walk, yeah, to enjoy and uh, to share with the other member of jury to, uh, the point of view, what they think about the same film, and this is it's a good experience for me. Okay, thank you. So, uh, my question for you is. As I read, you are um, like a film distributor. You're trying to find quality movies for children, if I'm not mistaken. That's an interesting way to describe it. Um, <laughs> our festival model is we're quite a small festival uh, and we're 16 days in October, November. But what we do with our short films is we get a license and an agreement that we can show those films, not just for the 16 days of the festival, but also for the next 12 months. So what we then do is package the films together with activity, resources, educational materials, and we make them available to our colleagues across Scotland, across England, across Wales, across the UK, uh, and encourage them to try and step towards more short films for young audiences. So we are kind of in distribution, but we're really not <coughs> major players in the field but it's if we've got the films together we believe in these films we think there should be more films available for young audiences across the UK across Europe and we're just taking a small small step to sharing what we have at Discovery with other cinemas and how difficult do you think it is to find quality movies like you're choosing those to protect all, the, all over the year because we only we we distribute or we share two packages, one for children who are aged three and above and one for children who are aged eight and above. And they run between 45 minutes and an hour. There is so much choice. When you look around the world at what's available, it's a really difficult job to whittle it down to just that amount of time. So it's a difficult job to kind of limit it to what's necessary, but we can always find something. <laughs> The important part of it was is an editor. And can I just say the food in Pergos is fantastic <laughs> and I would love to come back. <laughs> we hope it's not just the food, it's the festival too. <laughs> uh, they, they sit hand in hand every every time we get such great leadership to take us to the next great place to eat. So you know, it's been a wonderful festival. Uh, we are moving on with uh, uh, Mr. Filippo Bell. Yes. So, uh, your main profession is Latin language and history. So, how did you come up with uh, 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 with cinema? How did you manage to mix both of them yeah. and be here now? Um, yeah, thank you for your question. So, during my studies at the Uranity, uh, University, there was a short film festival, and uh, one of uh, my co um, colleagues uh, at the university asked me, So, do you want part of a short film? Do you like short films? And I said, Yes, it's cool. And then I was in this film festival bubble. 
and then I go on with my studies, I was at school doing films, uh, doing my lessons, but I always was in the Making Film Festival as a, um, a volunteer and then there was the opportunity to, to make both together, to encourage supporting young filmmakers and uh, watching films and doing um, a film festival. So since over 10 years I do my job and I like it so much. <laughs> and, uh, okay, thank you. Really interesting. Um, I learned that you have uh, your co-director in the Vienna Children's International Film Festival. So what do you think are the differences between your festival in Vienna and this festival, although they're both for children? Um, I often talk with Pantelis about this because I think there are quite uh, some similarities because we are also not a very big festival uh, and we are quite audience oriented and it's not so important to have these international guests. Olympia has more of these guests and, and has, a, has an international jury, we don't have that. Uh, we have a children's jury, which is only, it's children between 11 and 13 years old and they are the only ones to judge our films. Okay. And, um, yeah, but we have guests when we, when we screen films and, and we, we uh, but we like to, to invite the actors and not so much the directors because we think for children it's more interesting to talk to actors and actresses. And, but I think we have quite similar ideas about what a good children's film is and uh, we come from, Dimitris and me, we have the same age and we come from the same uh, level of uh, when that began with the film festivals. You had to build it up, you had to put in a lot of work that was not paid. Uh, it's, it's a rather similar uh, evolution of how it came to to this festival, I think. Yeah. Thank you. So my last question for Mar Margo, Marho. Uh, uh, what is the role of cinema in uh, Finland education? Because you talked about it yesterday. Uh, yes, uh, the film itself is not mentioned, uh, or it's, it's not like a separate subject in the in, uh, Finnish school system, but in Finnish curriculum there is this uh, so-called uh, transversal competence, the concept of multiliteracy, uh, which mentions audiovisual literacy, so obviously the film is actually very important in that way in, in uh, education system for, for all school subjects. Okay, thank you. I think it's time to let you eat. I, I look at how you look at the salad, the saganaki. Very patient. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Have a nice meal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.